This is how to calculate a percent yield. An excess of O2 reacted with 9.23 grams of thallium. That's capital T little l. What is the percent yield if 8.38 grams of thallium 2O3 are isolated? And we're given the molar masses. Okay, the formula for percent yield is equal to actual divided by theoretical times 100. All right. We have actual. That would be the 8.38 grams of material that's isolated. What we need to find out is the theoretical. So once again, we have to do a mass-to-mass -mass conversion. To do this, it would be helpful to have the balanced reaction. So thallium reacts with O2 to give a compound that's called thallium-3 oxide. I'm sorry, the subscript on the thallium is a 2 there. There we go. All right. To balance this out, um, I kind of noticed that oxygen is even on the left and odd on the right. So probably putting a 3 in front of the O2 and a 2 in front of my product will give me a balanced reaction. So there we are. Four thalliums, three oxygen molecules gives me my product. Okay, now it's time to go from mass of one thing to mass of another. So 9.23 grams of thallium. Job number one is to get to moles of thallium. So there are 204.4 grams of thallium in one mole of thallium. Job number two is to look at my balanced reaction and realize that there are four moles of thallium for every two moles of thallium-3 oxide. And finally, job number four is to realize that one mole of thallium-2 oxide is, if I add up the molar masses for thallium and oxygen, going to be 456.8 grams of thallium-3. The name is 3, the subscript is 2. It's a topic for 101. Oxide. Okay, these are now my balanced stoichiometry conversions. And when I multiply that out, I find out that my theoretical yield is 10.314 grams of thallium-3 oxide. So I will put that 10.314 grams here, do the division, and multiply by 100, and it turns out that my percent yield is 81.3%. Easy enough.